Steve Davis, Assistant Director of the Lee Ogle Transportation System, joining us this morning. And you guys have put out a survey online asking about bus routes and public transportation. How long will you guys be collecting information for that survey? Uh, we will take it for at least uh, two months for gathering data. Okay, so you guys are looking for information on perhaps expanding the legal goal transportation system to include perhaps scheduled routes to specific places within the communities of Rochelle and Dixon, right? Correct. Currently, we run a rural system, which is an on-demand system. You call in the day before, we schedule rides for the next day. The fixed route study that we're doing right now is more like the urban setting, where there's actual bus stops and bus routes that run continuously at set times. So drastically different than the model that we are currently running, but we're seeing if there's a need in both cities, Dixon and Rochelle, um, for a fixed route. These would obviously be uh, done with some help from uh, large local employers, too, I would imagine would probably see a benefit to this. Correct. We're we're using uh, both industrial parks uh, here in Dixon and in Rochelle as major contributors to um, the information that we're gathering, because obviously there is a there is a need at both places um, for people to get to work, and the infrastructure might not be set up as far as like sidewalks all the way to if somebody had to walk, or uh, you know you get bike routes as well as everybody transferring their vehicles. It's, it gets a little congested and clogged. So, seeing if that information comes back to us might help with this study showing that there is quite a need for a fixed route. About how many passengers a week? Do you guys move around? Anywhere from 600 to 700 a week. Now, between the two counties, we, yeah. we do a lot, yes. Um, shifting gears a little bit, guys were awarded uh, uh, money from IDOT for new vehicles. How exciting is that to have uh, <laughs> fresh tires, fresh brakes, and, and shiny shiny bumpers? So uh, the, the plan is a, it's supposed to come out every year, and you retire some that have been in your system for a while. And the CVP, the, the plan that we use, um, hasn't been done since before COVID. So everybody is extremely happy because our vehicles are very much aged out um, in need of a lot of service now as those engines just weren't made to go 350,000 miles. So we're, we're working on getting those shiny new ones in. I don't know. There's going to be a little backlog, but we are extremely excited to get some new buses in. If somebody has any questions, wants to hit you guys up for a ride, or is looking for more information about the Leo Gold Transportation System, where can they go? Please call us, 815-288-2117, or visit us on our website at leeogletransportationsystem.com.